As you can imagine, there are plenty of reasons why your iPad doesn't want to download apps, and it all depends on your specific situation, but here, I will show you a bunch of different methods and ways to potentially fix this problem. Also, by the end of the video, I'll let you know about some good things to keep in mind when dealing with this problem, so let's get started. The very first thing that, that could be the problem is insufficient storage space, which may sound kind of obvious, but you generally don't really get notifications when you're about fill your storage completely, and it can happen that after some time of using the iPad, you don't even realize it, and the app you're trying to download is too large. To check the storage, head over to the settings of your iPad, click on the general section, and the iPad storage is right there. Well, you can't really manage it that well from this section, but what it's good for is the overview of the situation. It shows you exactly which section takes up what amount of storage, so that's really useful. But if your photos are full, or some apps take up a lot of storage, you'll need to remove them to download something new. The next thing that may be preventing your iPad from downloading apps from the App Store is the restriction applied to it. It is totally possible that your iPad has blocked downloading any apps to it. You can find out about it by going to the settings again, then click on the screen time section. And this section is not even clickable. If the restrictions are not applied, then fine, the problem is somewhere else. But if yes, then it's possible that downloading apps is actually blocked. If you click on iTunes and App Store purchases, the very first option is installing apps. And this can be either allowed or not allowed. So when this isn't allowed, just make sure it is, and then try again to see if anything has changed or if you can download the apps now from the App Store. It's also possible that, yes, the downloading is blocked, but you don't have access to these restrictions because it's passcode protected. In this case, unfortunately, you won't be able to do much unless you get access to the passcode that will grant you the ability to change these restrictions settings. Now let's move on to the next thing that could be preventing you from downloading apps on your iPad. And that is some kind of problem with your Apple ID. As you know, you need to have it set up on the iPad. You can go to the settings and see for yourself if it is there. In the main section, you should see it all the way at the top of the page. There should be your name and all the iCloud settings, and this indicates that you have Apple ID working. But if you suspect that Apple ID could be the problem, then you can also go ahead and sign out from that specific Apple ID, wait some time, and then sign back in. This would sort of restart the account, and it could make downloading apps possible again. Uh, the next thing that could stand in the way of you downloading apps is poor internet connection. This happens a lot, actually. Your iPad cannot establish a, a reliable internet connection to Wi-Fi. It's mostly Wi-Fi because not all iPads are cellular. Anyways, just disconnect from the network, turn off Wi-Fi, turn it back on, try to connect to a different Wi-Fi, or even share your internet from the iPhone by creating a hotspot. Just make sure that the internet works and that this isn't the problem, so these things should hopefully fix it for you. And now, here are some of the things you should know about this problem. Firstly, sometimes problems like this are just a bug or a random software issue. It's always advised to restart any device that is problematic, so go ahead and do the same. Make sure to restart the iPad and see if anything changed. You should also know that software update can bring the same desired improvements and fix our problem. So if you're experiencing a problem like this, that you can't download apps, make sure you're running on the latest version of your iPad OS. Just go to the settings, tap on general, and click on software update to see if anything loads up. In case yes, then download and install the update first and then keep on going with your troubleshooting. Also keep in mind that you can always bring the iPad to the Apple Store to let them see what's the issue. If you suspect that there's a serious fault in your iPad, well, you probably won't fix at home on your own. In cases like this, it's good to bring this device to some kind of repair service and let a professional see what the problem could be. Anyways. We're also almost at the end of this video. If you found it useful and valuable, I want you to hit that like button to let me know about it. For more similar tutorials like this one, make sure you also click the subscribe button, and that way you won't miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the future video. Peace.